All right, guys, we are El Cap because fortunately San Vicente is closed due to city uh, budget cuts. So we're at El Cap and um, nice reservoir. We'll see what we could do. And uh, thanks for checking my channel out. See you soon on the water. All right, guys, we are on an adventure. We're gonna graph, then we're gonna graph. Then we're gonna graph even more because it seems like every single point is taken up by a boat or a float tuber. So I really want to focus on fishing offshore today. Wow, nice wake. Because there's no pressure. There's no pressure offshore. So let's, let's, let's take a look, see what we can do. Fifteen inches, guys. Nice fish. Not gonna help. Eighteen and three quarters. Yeah, buddy. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm throwing this uh, realistic swim bait, 2.8 Kitek to match the hatch and an underspin because uh, I just want to look a little bit different. Subtlety. Not a huge difference between the bait, but a larger profile so I can get the big ones to commit trigger them drives them nuts when you uh add that underspin on there but we're gonna get back out there see what we could do we located them for sure so there's a lot of there's a lot of fish going on in this cove in this opening but it's important not to like get too sidetracked with just one school you want to find the right school at all times you don't want to just focus on one school you want to focus on the active school so Let's see what we could do here. Oh yeah, they're they are feeding heavily, guys. We're gonna back off of them a little bit more, so give them some space. And having that longer cast too really helps you in your favor, so they could be triggered. Let's say they they need more room, you know. So it's it's a good idea to give them as much distance to track that bait as much as possible so that way get one of these fired up they're only 30 feet out we're gonna see if we can get one of these triggered oh yeah there's a huge school of them the key is really is to uh find those fish actively feeding find the ones that are are willing to chase the bait down there we go get them following you almost got to hit them when when it matters, you know? So when they're actively chasing bait balls, that's when you want to get them. 
or if the school is moving a lot, that's when you want to get them. You don't want to get them when they're all just staying still, not actively moving. Those are the fish that I already ate. You want to look for the fish that looking for that big meal before summer hits. Because when summer hits, they're more lethargic for sure. Okay, we got some active bass right there. We're going to cast to it and see if they want to commit. Yeah, see, there's some bass that when I drop a bait down there, they don't even want any part of it. I actually threw away one fish that would have counted on the working man challenge. We ought to just check what we have to have to coal for the working man. So dashboard, working man series. Not Northern California, let's do Southern California region. Okay, so anything over 16, that's what we need to cool. There we go. There is fish actively feeding right there. That's what you want to see. That's another thing is like, uh, when you find a bait ball, it doesn't mean that there's going to be a bass inside it. You really got to look closely to see if our if bass are congregating that bait and attacking it because lots of the time they're just just a bait ball just chilling some fish on there let's see let's see if we can get big mama to bite today I think that cast was a little short. Yeah, that was a little short. Let's go in a little closer. That should be about right. Let's try these three stationary fish. I don't really like targeting these stationary fish, but who knows? Maybe they'll cooperate today. The second one?
There we go. On. It feels heavy, but tiny head shakes. One thing I like about this leg is that there's no structure for them to break us off. <laughs> <laughs> eh, at least it's quality kind of Nothing huge yet. Knock on wood, we'll get them. You have 20, you have 24 hours. All right, guys, I was on the 2.8 Kitek under spin half ounce, guys. You guys gotta vary that weight, you know? Don't get, don't stay addicted to that eighth ounce weight because that's not the only thing that works. If you need to get down there deeper when the fish are moving, then, you know, pick up those half ounce, three eighth ounce lures with the same hook size so you don't lose that action. And, you know, it could really fire them up sometimes. Look at that mega school, guys. Mega school of bait fish. And then there's fish right next to it. Sixteen guys, sixteen. Three quarters, guys. Still same bait ball. They're pretty stacked right here, but I think I'm gonna move on. There's a lot of like 16s here that 16 to 17s that I don't need. I already engulf it on the fall. <laughs> Oh, that might be a good one. Great, get over here. <laughs> Have some fun with me.
That's why you guys got to mix up your weights. Can't always throw that one eighth ounce, guys. It's a decent one. It's probably one of the bigger ones. 17 and a half, guys. Pretty lateral line, guys. Get out there. All right, guys, we got this Spro Frog White. I picked white because they're keyed on the shad and the shad are more white and silver. So we're gonna test this out. I saw a few blow ups, see if we can upgrade on a bigger bite with this frog. So let's see if we can get any action. Now this is one of those things you get the five right bites usually, uh, but sometimes this place can go off on the frog. So never know. Been slow guys but that's a long one hopefully it'll help i had to work hard to chase down that bait that was tough let's look for that bait again Same fish that I caught earlier? Looks like it. Well guys, that's it for today. You know, the bite was pretty good first thing. Found bait balls, found fish. Wasn't able to upgrade. It's one of those days like uh, 18, 19, 20, 21 inch bass they weren't schooled up like those 16 and 17 so we'll try it again tomorrow over at san vicente over at the socal kayak angler tournament thanks for checking in i'll see you guys later peace